Hey, Dust Bunnies, Dustro here, bringing you another video. During my live streams on Twitch, I'm often asked, how does your computer run the game so well? It looks buttery smooth. It looks um, like you're not running into any frame rate issues. So there's a few things that I've done to optimize the way my game is presented. So one thing, I go into settings, display, I run my game at borderless window. You can choose full screen if you want, but I use three monitors during my streams. Full screen sometimes causes issues. <clears throat> so borderless window, it is for me. I change texture quality to high. Anything less than high, you really see the degradation in fidelity. Water quality, medium. Lighting quality at medium. Shadow quality at high, so anything less than high, it's very pixelated and it just kind of takes away from the immersion of the game. So I leave it at high. Shadow distance is medium. Depth of field, I have turned all the way off. I don't like depth of field. You can change that to whatever setting you want. I don't think that's going to affect. Uh, performance so much but turning it all the way down is where I'm at field of view I have it set to 95 you can absolutely change that as much as you want and the fade options are set as such I don't remember if these were a uh, default of one of the presets or not but that's how I have it set up uh, one thing to make sure you guys have turned on um, it, our damage numbers, I think by default, that's off. So turn that on so you can see how much damage you're putting out on enemies. I run a power armor build. One quick question that gets brought up is where's your HUD display? You don't see the HUD like you would if you're running around in power armor. Well, there's enable power armor HUD. This was a new feature implemented a couple years ago and turning it off makes it just look like you're running around without power armor. Pretty nice. Uh, camera shaking, I have it off. I think it might be on by default. Uh, for some of the things that you do in the game, this can make you nauseous. So I, I have that turned off. So those are the settings I have within the game. Just changing these settings alone could help you out quite a bit, okay? So I have this. So in the My Documents folder under my Fallout 76, you create a custom INI file, Fallout 76 custom I and I, and all you do is you add this anywhere in it and hit save. Normally in the game, this is set to one, meaning it'll create the grass in the game. I have it set to zero. This value I think is different than the regular one. So I have set that to 20. Um, but this is the big one here. Setting that to zero. Well, I'm in the toxic valley, so there's not a whole lot of grass. Um, let's go somewhere real fast that has grass. Let's just go here. Doesn't matter. I just want to show you guys what it looks like uh, without grass. So, as you can see, there's nothing. So everywhere you see flatness, there should be some form of grass on the ground. I have it turned off. Turning it off really helps uh, performance quite a bit. So adding that to the a newly created file called Fallout76 custom.ini. I'll put the text of that 
in the description of this video uh, that that will that will absolutely help uh, some people don't like the look of that they like the grass on the ground I actually like it better without it it's easier to find meat piles on the ground after you've killed some stuff it also helps you find your loot bag if you die somewhere it just stands out better so there's that the other thing is in the NVIDIA control panel. So I have an NVIDIA card. If you have an AMD card, I'm assuming there's some type of a control panel where you can manipulate some of the settings. I have it set for Fallout 76 here. You can use global settings, which applies to all applications. Uh, but I have it. I have some tweaks done just specifically to this game. So under program settings tab here is the game the executable and it might just be one setting I've changed yeah so it's now it now that I'm on a better computer I have just one setting changed and that's maximum frame rate the game was designed to only play optimally at 60 frames per second I've tried it at higher settings I have a my monitor has a refresh rate of 144 megahertz um, I tried leaving this alone so it just utilizes the most amount of refresh or frame rate and it gets choppy if I do it at 120 it gets a little choppy here and there it just depends on the location in the game where you're at what you're doing in the game you know the more that's going on in the game it can impact your FPS so I leave mine at 60 the game looks smooth. Like, I don't really see drops in frames. It's a solid 60 frames per second. So, you know, every once in a while you see kind of like a what I call a hiccup. Could just be a frame drop or so. Uh, but I think a lot of it is just because this is an online game. And let's be real. This game is not best optimized for an online experience. But those are some of the settings that I've done to improve the performance of my game. Feel free to pause at any one of those moments to have a more in-depth look i'll try to put some timestamps into the description so you guys can quickly jump to those points in time and give them a try i do hope this helps all of you if you like the video please like it subscribe to the channel i'm trying my hardest to become partner with youtube your likes and your subscribes subscriptions or subscribes however you want to call it i don't care it all helps. It all gets me there quicker. And uh, feel free to share this with your with your friends and whatnot. So everyone, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great day and take care.